If he's going to panic without you, you can come up as well. Oh, no, you're right. Sure? <laughs> Just get a feel. Right. So, obviously, dog reactivity is a major problem. Six, I'd go as fast to say it's dog aggression. He's not just going to get there and do nothing. Uh, talk to me about your dog. Where's he come from? Uh, come from a rescue uh, about eight weeks ago. Yep. Uh, doesn't like strangers. People that talk to him in the street don't yep. like that. And he doesn't like other dogs. Cats, <laughs> foxes. Yep. Uh, yeah, mainly dogs. Okay. If, if you get someone up at the door, you let him in. It doesn't, it isn't really up bothered with him. No. If he comes in with you, then it's... Uh, it gets a bit um, angry. Not okay. angry, it doesn't growl, it barks. So, he, he's obviously a bit nervous, she. She's a bit nervous of people, that much is a given, but she's dog aggressive. Yeah. Okay, this is very much an age. Do you know much about her history? Um, originally, we got told that she actually lived with another dog, but in lockdown, yeah. it went a bit, a little bit loopy with it. and they. Had to I live with my wife and children, but outside of that, I don't really like anyone else. <laughs> Yeah, see where I'm going with this. A dog can live perfectly with another dog, but can hate every other dog it sees. Every yeah. every dog's a stranger. Every 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 new dog's a challenge. Yeah. Right, so let's just have a look. Let's see how you deal with a situation. So if you just walk towards. So what would you normally do? Stop there. Well, I wouldn't even be listening here. I'd be about eighty yeah. meters away. <laughs> no. but, but if what, you... I've, what I've been doing, I've been telling her to sit. Yep. Just sit and just calm down, but she's not on two feet by then. She's, uh, she's in the zone and I can't control her then. She's yes. like, I'm, uh, I'm so the idea is, trust me, the idea is to break that a little bit. So let's just get a little bit of movement going. So sometimes stopping can be the worst thing for a dog. Sometimes movement is the way forward. So you can hear just the whining coming from the dog from the stopping. So she gets very anxious, and that's visibly because she's out of her comfort zone right now. Sit. Good girl. Right. So, Sophie, if Sophie keeps walking towards me, walk, 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 stop there. Look, Sit. see that? Sit. See that fixation that comes from yeah, this that's, dog? That's exactly what she's like. Yeah. yeah. But then it explodes, and sometimes it's quicker than that. And I can feel the dog shaking against my leg like a coiled spring. A lot, of people, a lot of people will be saying this is fear. This is not. She is desperate to get there. She's not shaking because she's nervous. Her towel isn't even, she's not even sitting on her towel in that I'm nervous position. She's shaking because she's raring to go. But she can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? But this is hard for her. Yeah, because she wants to. So what I can do, so walk towards me. Let's go. Create some space. Mind your head. Look, we've got to walk this way. So what we're going to do... We're going to pay attention, arm by my side, nice and relaxed, but I'm just going to fill down the lead. So what's going? Wait. So to the side that way because she's beginning to fix it. Yep. Off my knee. <laughs> and I want a short but relaxed lead because a couple of times you've been caught off guard where the dog's got too much lead. It's a big, powerful dog. I don't ever want to be in this position with a reactive dog. That is instant set me up for failure. Do you want to stand up with a husky? Just stand up. Look. I want to break that focus straight away. See how I go that way? If I turned this way, there is a moment in time, look, where the dog is. Yeah? Now, I would only ever turn this way right if the dog was that bloody powerful right and what i would do is very old school but it'd be more like that and i would use my body to take the dog you take the dog with your body but the dog takes an almighty jolt a dog like this that isn't a caucasian shepherd or a tibetan mastiff i can just use my body to come between so i walk towards the husky I stop, I break that focus using my body. See when I'm walking, the dog's not whining, it's easier for the dog. When we stop, your dog is visibly all over the place. Sit, good girl. So, German Shepherd, you. You, we'll do three to begin with. 
Safe, over there. Eight, right there. So let's just break that focus a little bit, go around in a circle, sit. Right. You two walk that way. Husky, can you sit back down, please? Frank, can you give more space where possible? I want you two to walk down that way and you to go that way. So look, you see this dog's everywhere. He's gonna have one coming this way. It's gonna be really, really difficult for him. Yeah? See, your breathing's getting heavier. He's getting worked up. All right? Come back. Come back, come back, come back. So look, let's go. Head up, shoulders up. Let's go. Pick up that pace. Yeah? Because that movement keeps him moving forward. Like I said, some of the dogs here so far, we've been treats on the floor just to break that focus and things like this. But they haven't been sitting here whining, whining, whining. We have a dog that is whining and getting anxious and anxious. And we need to create that movement to help him relax. Does that make sense? So come and walk past. So we're gonna go this way. Good boy. Come round. So look, lots of dogs. So look, short but relaxed. My arm stays where it is. Nice and chilled out. Never believe these are three reactive dogs that are walking towards. Stop where you are. I'm gonna make this hard. So look, if I have to walk past a dog in close proximity, I have to stay relaxed. Watch my lead the whole way round. Yeah? I cannot tense up at any point of this. Did you notice that I helped him over there? Anyone pick up on that? Hey. So right here, I know that we've got him and him that are likely to clash. Right, so what I did here, and this is why you can't panic, because if you panic, you don't think straight. Yeah? So here, and I saw him at the start, you're physically holding him back, like, yeah. yeah? So this dog's no joke, right? But, see this dog staring, do a 360. That's it, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around, and back into a sit. There you go. See how you just broke that focus. Yeah, see how the dog's now looking around? Yeah. yeah? Just make sure he doesn't lunge at the Frenchie. There we go. <laughs> right. But you see that. So here I have a decision to make. I've got to walk through these two dogs. There's nowhere for me to go. Right? So what I'm going to do is walk here just a little bit, and then here. I'm going to go through here. Here, what I'm going to do is actually walk towards the Husky, but then use that to break the focus. But if I tense up or panic at any time, hey, that travels down the lead. So, ready? So we'll try it with a muzzle on first, and then we'll try it with a muzzle off. So. Set yourself up properly first of all. So interrupt that, pull up on the lead and get that dog. Right? What have we said about the word sorry? If your dog's gonna make mistakes, if it's gonna screw up, let it do it here. So we can tell you your mistakes and we can fix it. Still got too much lead. You're looking for that shortest part of the lead, that when you're holding it, it's still relaxed? Yeah. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Look at your arm. You are so tense. Yeah? And you can see your dog feeding off of it. Ladies and gentlemen, and obviously you guys are paid to be here to do the live training. And the reason we do the live training is for a moment... If he reacts with you, Lee, you're going to look really stupid, mate. She, <laughs> she, she. she doesn't care. Yeah? She's not going to develop a complex. She's not a human being. Yeah? 
But the, the reality is, the reason we like to do this live training is it's just as much about educating you on how to help your individual dog, but it's also, a lot of you all make the same mistakes, but you don't realise it until you're watching someone else. So I could ask this gentleman, when somebody else does it, can you see the mistakes? And he'll probably go, the arm, the way she's holding the lead, the way she's, things like that. But then I give the lead to that person and they do exactly the same thing. <clears throat> so this is as much about you watching what others are doing and learning. Keep your fist. That's it. Right. Not allowed to think. That's you have easy. we're blokes. Yeah. <laughs> you have one objective. Yeah. That is to breathe. As you go through, I want you to count to ten. In your head, you don't have to do it out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. It's your only objective. Got it? Go. How good was that? <laughs> did you go two, four, four, six, eight, ten? Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Shop. it's a nice little technique you can do. We ain't that actual good at multitasking, believe it or not. But what you want to do is take your focus off of what your dog might potentially react to and focus on something else. By counting to ten slowly, it actually calms you down. Gives you something to focus on, just keep counting, counting. While you're counting, you're not thinking about what your dog's doing. Your lead's short and relaxed, just get into the habit of feeling through that lead. Yeah? Right, do it again. Count to 10. Just feel that lead. The hardest thing to overcome when dealing with a reactive dog is that confidence. It's also the number one thing that will determine whether your dog reacts or not. The second you tense up, your dog wants to know why, sees what is around him, builds that association. You was all relaxed, there was no dogs around, everything's fine, that German Shepherd's appeared, you're now tense, that German Shepherd's a threat. You start wrapping the lead around your hand like you're gearing up for war, dog looks around, sees what's in the environment, makes that association, that's what made you tense up, that thing's now a threat. You count to 10, you stay nice and relaxed, you feel down the lead, you feel the dog going that way, nope. You feel the dog going that way, nope. You feel the dog going into you, nope. You feel the dog coming across you, nope. Or whatever way you want to go. You rocked up to this seven are holding on to your dog like you was about to fucking release him after a guy in a bite suit. <laughs> now look where you are. German Shepherd behind you. German Shepherd mix. Golly, French Bulldog, French Bulldog, Steffi mix, German Shepherd. There is a puppy behind that umbrella. Dog, 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 everywhere. Now, you ready to try it without the muzzle? Are you going to take on the challenge? <laughs> it's all good, guys. I'm just filming. Let's go. Good girl. 
Do you not remind you of Stan? Yes. Yeah, very much so. Right. Count to ten. Nice deep breath. We'll do it together. Let's come. Be nice and relaxed. I'm just here because this is primarily the danger zone. I'm just here for moral support. You're welcome. Um, relax. Relax your hand. There you go. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Give her a butt scratch for that. <laughs> Right, go and find a spot somewhere back where you was. You got to get there. None of these are moving yet, <laughs> so you. you're very welcome. Relax your arm. No, just follow the I'm going to get you an e-collar, and every time you tense up, I'm going to zap you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>